Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Diana, and I am pretty ill. Today is a great day, as we now have our first clinical trial approved and ready to go. I hope you can participate. The official title of the study is Vascular Fundus Changes Observed in Patients with High Probability of CCSVI, Chronic Cerebrospinal Venous Insufficiency. The fundus is in the back part of the eye, and it's the only place in the body where we can look directly at blood vessels. We don't have to look through fluid or gunk. That's an officially scientific term, but I couldn't help but notice on some of our fundus pictures, like mine, when they were magnified about a gazillion times, I found some irregularities, shall we say. Now, what the irregularities are is a very cloak and dagger right now, but they may give us a big piece of the puzzle as to what is going on with us. How great is that? Now, I knew something would show up on my fundus pictures because I felt like my eye was popping out of my head and I had this pain in my sinus without a sinus infection and I just kept magnifying and magnifying it and magnifying it and boom, there it was. So, we've got quite a few other Ehlers-Danlos patients and MS patients here, so I was able to look at a few more and decide it was worth a study. Now, we are now accepting participants for the study. To qualify, you need to have either Ehlers-Danlos, EDS, or be suspected of having it. You need to have multiple sclerosis or suspected MS, as in CIS, or be suspected of having both, which is quite a few of us, actually. There's no cost to you, the participant. The participant. You're located in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. So come on down to Texas. During the study, we'll perform some tests that are already performed during some comprehensive eye examinations. This includes checking the pressure of your eyes, it's painless, using an auto refractor to obtain a close estimate of your prescription, no big deal. And we'll take the all important OptiMap of the back part of your eye, your fundus. It's like a big picture. You don't need to have your eyes dilated to do this. If you're in a wheelchair, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, in fact, would you like to see what we are looking at as far as those big pictures go? Here's a picture from the OptiMap that we put up on the wall. I'm not a mini person, okay? The picture is that big. Take a look. Cool, huh? Now, yeah, how neat. We can practically go in your eyes and walk around with this baby. So you gotta love technology. Finally, we will take a few minutes when you're here to check your flexibility with the bite and scale. And then we'll chat with you a bit to see if there's anything else we can do, or refer you to specialists or what have you. My guess is because I am such a chatty Kathy and I have so much to tell you that that's probably where most of the time will go, actually. But you will be, as a participant, helping all of us figure this out and the importance of that cannot be diminished so I thank you so much. Um, I will put some information and links here for you to contact us for the study. For those of you on YouTube only, please visit www.prettyill.com for more information. Now if you go to clinicaltrials.gov directly and search for studies involving Ehlers-Danlos and CCSVI, we are today the only one that pops up. Okay. Uh, we are NCT number 01356134, study number 61-3527, and the investigator group is called Genetic Disease Investigators, and includes me. I will read the OptiMaps blindly, if you will. My husband, Dr. Richard Driscoll, and world-renowned geneticist, Dr. Claire Frank Mano, Mano, to whom I am eternally grateful, not only for wanting to be an investigator in the study, but for her care and concern for all of us for whom treatment has been elusive. We hope to change that, and soon. Now, you can also learn more about the study by going to TotalEyeCare.com. We'll have a couple of other studies coming out right behind this one, so you may be able to participate in more than one. How great is that? But till I see you in Texas, we're sending out a big yeehaw to all of our friends everywhere. Let's hang in as we continue to change this world one brain cell at a time, okay? Gentle hugs to you all. Till next time.